What's up, everybody? Welcome to Throwdown TV. I'm Gary Alexander. This is the most well-spoken man besides Mike Lynch. <laughs> besides Mike Lynch in MMA. Tom Atencio, what's going on? What's up, baby? How you doing? I'm good. good. Again, as always. You know what? Um, I've uh, you and I have been have been uh, acquaintances, our our friends, so to speak. <laughs> that, I don't mean that in a sexual way, by the way. Uh, Please, for, a, no. for for a long time, for a long time, and. I'm really impressed with the fact you and I were just talking about boxing, how involved Affliction has been in combat sports in general. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I grew up watching boxing. I grew up, you know, the days of Hearns Hagler and, and um, you know, all the great fights, uh, some of the best fights in the world. Um, you know, Sugar Ray Leonard, Hagler, Sugar Ray Leonard, Hearns. I mean, all those are just amazing. So I grew up watching that, and, and, and that I always I always took that over. And, and when I got involved in the combat sports, I, I just fell in love with it. So, you know, it, it, to me, to bring both of them together and or even, you know, working separately, it's just it's, it's more of love than anything else. You know, it's a passion. Combat sports, I think, uh, has been has been given gifts by certain groups of people like like the Fertitas, Dana White, like uh, Affliction. I think those are big things in the sport. Co Scott Coker has done wonderful things for the sport, and um, you guys should v definitely be proud of that. Now, moving on to the second event of Affliction, I was at the first event in California and SoCal, and it was off the hook. Um, I want to just tell you, congratulations on that. Thank you very much. Yeah, I, I, we're real proud of what we did. And, uh, you know, we're just going to bring it into the next one and, and see what we did wrong, mm -hmm. fix those mistakes, and, and see what we did right and improve upon that. And, uh, you know, it, we bring the whole entertainment aspect to it, and I think that um, we're just a little bit different than, than any other organization out there. And, and I think, I know it was a, a success, so I'm happy. Great. Will, they be, will, there, will there be a band at the next show? No, uh, the next the next show is uh, Day of Reckoning, and that's going to be uh, you know it's a it's a a fight uh, towards the ultimate fighter and um, excuse me the best fighter in the world uh, you know Fedor Emelianenko and that's what it's towards so Josh Barnett versus Andre Arlovsky and the winner will fight Fedor. Yeah, um, maybe I didn't explain myself there. Will there be a performance by a band? Oh, I apologize. <laughs> Completely uh, com screwed that one up. Didn't it's my me? accent, dude. Yeah, it is, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what it was. It's my heavy accent, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, anyway, um, there will be. Who? Uh, I'm working with two people right now. It has not been f finalized. Um, the show will not be called Band. Um, <laughs> but yeah, anyway, yeah, we're working on it right now. So I haven't, I haven't finalized the contracts. I got to tell you, whenever I was watching, I was watching on the screen when Megadeth was playing, and the, I was just kind of digging, digging the performance and whatnot. And then when the guys came out and lined up on the, on the, the ramp, off the hook because I'll, I'll be honest with you I never was a fan of what pride was doing with with all the fighters coming out but for some reason I think this was an American twist on the whole thing and I was watching the camera work and everything it looked like the Grammys like mixed in with with a fight it was amazing it was cool. I was really happy with it, and it was. I you know I was gonna say a la Pride, uh, but you know I mean I think that's just it. You take things from different organizations and you put those together, and you you take your time and you figure out what works and what doesn't work, and and that's what we're doing. And it, it's entertainment, you know. Aside from the fights and the matchups, and it, it, it's you have to if you're there and the audience is happy, the audience is excited, yeah. that makes a huge difference. Oh yeah, I mean, as an entertainer, I know that the more the fans give back to the fighters or the performers, the more energy that we have to give back to them. So, and it was definitely there. I don't want to take too much time. I want to talk about the the matchups really quick. Arlovsky Barnett, tell me about that. Great fight. I mean, it's an elimination fight. Uh, it makes sense. The two winners from our first event, they come up, they come down, they show up. They're going to fight, and the winner of that gets Fedor. Huge. Oh, it's huge. It is huge. Now, what are we looking at with the smaller weight divisions, the 205s, the 170s, the 185s? Vitor Belfort broke his hand. Uh, that's correct, right? Uh, it, it was. It's my understanding, but he's ready to fight. He's going to fight um, uh, Lin, Linland again, Matt Linland. So is that a definite? That's a definite as far as I know. Even Vitor was announcing it. Um, so I haven't been told anything different. That's a hell of a fight. Yeah, I think so. Well, they both want it. That's the great thing about it. Vitor wants it, and Matt... Matt will fight anybody anyway, but yeah, I mean, it's, I, I think it's great. So we also, I just signed today uh, Chris Horadecki, which I'm real happy about. So am I. He's a stud. Kid is a stud. So, you know, um, just trying to get the best fighters out there and put them all together and, and just make another stacked card. 
Can't wait for it, dude. You guys are bringing the matchups and bringing the entertainment side of it. Uh, I got to tell you, I just got to give you props. Thank you, brother. I appreciate that. Tom Atencio on Throwdown TV.